All right, so I think that's enough of that. Let's uh, the huckleberries. Let's find a couple of those over here. I'm going to space them out just a little bit, just so they're not too bunched together. We will see if those will grow at all. But, I mean, since they grow in the wild up near the rivers in the higher altitudes, I think they probably won't grow too well here. But I have lots of seeds for these. There's lots more in a chest up there. We will, this is just a test spot. Chemist bulbs, we will just plant a few just to see if they grow here. And beans. We have some beans here. I have no idea what environment they need to grow, but we will try planting some just to see. So we get, what, one little... Well, it's taking them out of my hand, so it's planting them. There's one little plant right in the center there. Now, I, know how, I have no idea if these need, like... Uh, some like water in the area or something according to this thing okay temperature 16 temperature match should be 22 13 is desired okay so that tells us rainfall is 50 per 7 percent so the moisture is right in the desired moisture match 94 percent okay so overall growth rate 59 percent land can support zero so am I not in the right area project yield plant maturity 5% okay so that's for the wheat let's see what it says about these um, so temperature rainfall water spread Pollution doesn't say anything about this plant. How about this plant? Temperature match is a little warm. Moisture match is a little wet. So that may or may not grow. This is a trial. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I noticed on the map, I'm going to go up to where the water's at. I noticed that there's some construction up there on this. Oh, where's that at? Oops, whoa. So up here, there's, some, there's a water wheel. I'm going to see what he's got going with that. I wonder if he was just testing that. But we are right here at the moment. So we just need to go over that way. And I will be right back with you. Alright, so I've made it up here to our lovely mountain stream. Where there's looks like a little bit of snow up there with some buffalo and a wolf. Are you trying to eat that buffalo? Or are you guys just hang chilling? Huh? You guys just chilling? So I've been up here picking... Uh, Picking some veg and stuff. It looks like um, our world started to get beans growing in it because we didn't have them before. But anyway, here's the water wheel that's up here. Uh, I'm not really sure what's making it go round because there's no water right here unless it's just because it's kind of close to the water. I don't know. Um, whoa! fall down here let's grab those so there's some beans there uh, they didn't used to be in the game in the wilderness but they have started showing up all over here I think this is just turning because it's close to the water because I don't see any water running on it anywhere so I don't know what's up with that let's pick that fern can I get the fern? 
Give me the fern. I want the fern. No, I don't want the water wheel. Anyways, the water wheel says it is currently outputting nothing, but it can output 200. There is zero demand and 200 supply, so if there's something that needs power from that, then uh, I guess we'll get that. Let's see if we can get out of the water right over here real quick. There we go. Ah, no, almost. Alright, go up and jump. No, we can do this. I've gotten out of the water over here before. Maybe I have to go uphill. Well, I know I can get out of the water up here, so... Oh, let's swim up here. Swim up! Oh, did they change it so I can't swim up waterfalls anymore? Alright, well, whatever. There, yeah, that should be good. I should be able to get out here. And come over here. There we go. Alright, so uh, I've planted some ferns up here. It looks like Mickey has planted some beans up here. Um, so, so there's some beans. Those are like wild beans because they're not on a planted plot. If that made any sense. Um, these are fireweed. Uh, can I pick that? Oh no, I have to use what I have to use. Uh, shovel to get that. No. No. Yeah, that. So those are fireweed shoots. That's where was I trying to get? Right down here. Let's get that out of our hands. Here we go. So we get these huckleberries. Come on, pick them. There we go. And the beans. And some more fiddleheads. So, and this is all so I can make some food for everybody. Um, sorry about the water noises, it's kind of loud. But, uh, so I get all these things. and head back and one of the things they've updated is now I can carry up to 45 kilos and it looks like they have changed how much this stuff weighs because it is oh wait zero so the seeds don't weigh anything let's see about the actual food so corn is zero, oh, 0.01 huckleberries are 0.01 so all this stuff weighs next to nothing now oops um, so I can carry just gobs and gobs of this stuff. Um, I used to only be able to carry a little bit. Come on, pick that. There we go. So that's cool. So now my farming abilities will be greatly enhanced because I get for every one corn stalk I pick, I get like five of them. For every huckleberry I pick, I get like five of them and stuff like that. So this will be great, make my food gathering efforts much easier so I can make some of these awesome foods. I want to try to see if I can make the Bear Supreme, if I can uh, figure out the recipe for that. I'm pretty sure I have all the skills I need for that. It just took upgrading some of the uh, culinary bonus and the advanced culinary research stuff. So I'm going to run out of room here pretty soon. Um, I've got two and a half stacks of those, one and a half stacks of those, uh, stacking it, almost two stacks of those. I've got a stack and half of those. So I've got a whole bunch of those stack. Uh, I've got more, 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 more stuff than I ever imagined. And I've got tons of seeds and things. Oops, I keep hitting that. Instead of that. Okay, so let me, uh, Fill up my backpack here, and I will go back to the thing, and we will look up the Bear Supreme and see what we've got going. All right, so we're back here. Let me uh, grab some food real quick. 
Let's eat uh, huckleberry pie. Sure, why not? And what do we got? Beef taco, elk taco. Some bread. I don't understand how this stuff changes. Stomach is full. Can I eat one of those? Nope. One of those? Yeah, I don't understand. I've had this up to my skill points per day, up over 200 once, but I don't remember what I did to get there. Ate something cool. So let's see if we can see what it takes to make. Where is that? Where's the Bear Supreme? I thought it was in here. Must be in the other one. All right, Bear Supreme takes 10 prime cuts, 10 chemist paste, and 5 infused oil crafted at the kitchen. Okay, so the kitchen is right here. So let's see. Infused oil needs... Huckleberry extract and oil. Oil is done at the cereal germs affected by. So they've changed a lot of stuff because I don't remember oil being a thing. I may have to go get some wheat. Oil takes cereal germ. Cereal germ is a byproduct of grinding flour or cor making cornmeal. I think cornmeal is new. Bean paste. Cool. Acorns? Where do we get acorns from? Placeholder until oaks. Well, that's cool. So I can't do acorn powder. But we can order... Wow, they've changed the time of that. Wow. Alright, well, I've got plenty of that. Let's, let me turn... Can I turn the volume down? Volume, special effects. Turn it down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Ah, no, 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 no. Alright, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Okay, um, so we're grinding some flour to see if we can get some of this stuff. Cereal germ. I need the cereal germ in order to make oil. I need the oil in order to make... What did I need the oil for? All right, I need the oil in order to make... Infused oil. And infused oil, I need huckleberry extract. Huckleberry extract, I need huckleberries. So it's going to take five minutes. And if we take a look at this, I've got like 307 huckleberries. If I order... So it's going to take 50 huckleberries to make one huckleberry extract. That is a lot. So let's order two of those. It should suck up all of this and all but seven of this or something like that if I order that okay it took all of that one but it didn't take any of that one well it's 50 okay so it, it took the it started at the top so it took that one so it, it can be stuff that's either in storage or in your backpack it looks like your backpack takes preference Precedence. Um, so I need, in order to make infused oil, I need four huckleberry extract and four oil in order to get one of those. And in order to make 
the Bear Supreme. I need five of five infused oils. Wow, that's going to take a bunch. All right, chemist base. I've already got a bunch of that, and I need ten prime cuts. So I don't think our prime cuts here. Oh, that's seared meat, preserved preserved meat. That's new. Huckleberry extract and raw meat. Corn fritters are new. That's cool. Crafted at the stove, so that's fried hair haunches. Vegetable medley. That takes infused oil and wild mix. I should be able to make wild mix with all the stuff I've got in my inventory. Wild mix, I don't have huckleberry extract. I need huckleberry extract is being made. Let's make two more of those. And that just chews down the huckleberries, doesn't it? Come on, open. Chemist paste. I've got a bunch of chemists. Let's just make up some of that. Sugar I don't need. Cornmeal. We can make some of that. That will get us some of those. Bean paste, we'll make some of that just in case. So we've got a bunch of stuff cooking up. Um, the Bear Supreme took prime cut, which is made here, I believe. All right, so raw roast, scrap meat, prepared meat. Or is prime cut? There's prime cut. <clears throat> prime cut takes 40 raw meats. Just to make one prime cut? Oh my goodness. Wow. And one bison, I can only get 20. Wow. So I would need 10 wolves in order to make one of those. I would need a whole bunch of foxes. Raw bacon. Cool. 20. To make one raw bacon and five of those. Wow, I'm going to need to... Let's see. Butchery, 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 butchery. Cooking. Butchery. Where's butchery? Where did butchery go? Large butchery efficiency. Okay, so that's why, what's this? Small butchery efficiency and meat prep efficiency. Reduces raw meat cost by 10%, 20 Okay, so they've changed this way up. So this would give me 10% bison, elk, and wolf. So two, all right, what does this do? Butchery speed, okay, we can wait on that a little bit. Let's get one of those. All right, and this is meat prep. Reduces raw meat cost. 
definitely need to do that. Okay, and we'll do that. And this is small butchery efficiency, so we'll do that. All right, so I'm 20%. So these aren't massively expensive, but they are kind of expensive. And then speeds. I'll just do one on the speeds for now. And get a four on each of these. What does five give us? Five is the max level, gives us 80%. All right, well, we might as well do that because that's just ridiculous. So we do that, so now. I get 20, so now it only cost 8 for a prime cut. And this is meat prep efficiency. So that is so much better, still not, it's 8 of those for one of those. Okay. So I have an expert, so I've got an expert on this. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So it tells you who's doing good at what, right? And that's for this. So will you go away now? You will not go away now. All right, I will be right back.